Hey guys, it's Alex, and I'm back with another Twitch tutorial. Um, today this one's going to be pretty quick. It's just going to be a replacement for the uh, how to add a chat to your Twitch stream, uh, because I believe my old video method is going to be obsolete pretty soon. So um, this one's going to be really fast. If you uh, followed my other tutorials, especially the one for the follower alert, then you'll already know what to do, and you're actually already halfway there. So without any further ado, let's just get into it. So um, what you want to do is go to nightdev.com and uh, what you're going to come over here is go to projects and go to cap chat and then right here it pulls up this screen cap chat uh, captures twitch chat directly into obs or xsplit um, so this part right here this is um, you have to install the clr browser so some of you might remember from the follower alert video that that was the first step you had to do was install the clr browser so if you go into your twitch and you see here um, when you go right click add if you have this little clr browser um, option right here then you're already done with this step so uh, if not then what you're gonna want to do is click download go through they have like a little install um, tutorial it's really easy just install it um, and if you have any questions I'll be watching the comments for the next couple days so I can help you out there um, but okay so once you have the CLR browser added to OBS you just go next from here you're gonna go ahead and type in all your information so we'll go life and pixels uh, we'll say I'll have it fade out after five minutes um, so if you do add a, a chat fade it's good because um, you know you won't have just like stale messages that are an hour old sitting there but also I like to have um, a longer fade especially for my streams because um, I don't have a whole lot of people talking so it's nice to have some kind of chat in there because they default to 30 seconds but I don't get that many messages so I like to bump it back to five minutes that way it's not you know our old messages that are showing up but also you know we can accumulate a few messages um, so you can show bots or not that's pretty self-explanatory and then the chat theme um, so essentially if you're going with a light theme um, let's see yeah if you're going with a light theme that means that it's gonna stand out off of you know um, a lighter game um, or if you, let, let's say you're playing a really dark game like H1Z1, if you choose the light theme, um, it's going to kind of stand out a little bit. I like to choose the dark one. But you can mess around with either of these, um, and I'll show you how to change between them. So let's just go dark for now. Go next, and it's as simple as that. You have your URL here. So you're going to copy it, and then it says, if you're not sure what settings to use, start with a height of 600 and a width of 300. So um, you just copy it after you enter all your settings. It's pretty simple. And then what you want to do is go back to Twitch, go to right click, um, add CLR browser, and you're going to call this chat. I already have chat in here, so I'm just going to call it chat2. Um, so you add chat2, and then wherever you got your URL, just paste that in right there. They said dimensions to start off with is a 300 width and a 600 height. So let's go ahead and show you that. And um, yeah, that's good. Just click OK. And then you can see right here on the left, we have our bar. So obviously 600 height is the, um, the amount of pixels that it's covering. So if you want to mess with this, just go to right click properties and you can change this. Like if you wanted a perfect square, you could do 300 by 300. And then right here you can see theme equals dark. Instead of having to go back to that, that um, you know, website that I showed you, you can just go ahead and here and edit it. Um, theme equals light. And so you can see the difference here. The light theme gives you a white background with black text. Um, so like if you're playing on a really light game you can kind of see it here like with my uh, you know with my wallpaper um, but like I said I like I prefer the dark text because I think the white stands off of the black much better so just go back to the theme change it to dark click OK again and then I kind of like it a little bit longer click OK so there's my chat and now what I'll show you here is just a second I'm going to go to my Twitch channel and just show you how the chat shows up. Um, this one requires a plugin, so I guess it's a little bit more uh, involved than the last tutorial that I showed you, but I think that it turns out much nicer. So let me go ahead and um, type in here a couple things. Hello, Kappa. Okay, all right. So now if we go back to the chat, you can see hopefully that it'll show up here. Um, okay, joined it. Let's do it again. Hello, Kappa. Yeah, so like you can see, it's real time, and it actually shows the Twitch uh, emojis, which is nice. Um, so that's 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 a tutorial for you guys. 
Um, if you have any questions, like I said, I'll be watching the comments. Um, any other tutorials that you'd like to see, let me know. And I appreciate everybody who has uh, subscribed. And hopefully, um, you know, I can make some tutorials, help you guys out in the future. So uh, that's it. Good luck. Let me know if you have questions. Bye.